I've, I've been in the tactical unit now almost five years. You're in an unmarked car, you get to see more, hear more, and, and uh, address more issues uh, with the element of surprise. And then again, we do the surveillance, we assist all other agencies in this county as well as federal agencies. We got the opportunity to uh, patrol all different kinds of areas. It's got uh, numerous divisions, it's got something like 60 divisions from canine to aviation to the tactical unit to bicycle unit. I mean, basically you could spend 20 years here and work in numerous different units without ever getting bored. Yeah, we're gonna pull this car westbound from Westgate. Check this car out. The high beams uh, from, uh, are stuck on, or apparently they're not dimming the high beams, which is a violation. We run the tag first, and it could also be an indicator of a stolen car if they can't, if they punch the column, they can't dim the high beams. Yeah, a lot of times, like you said, it gets stuck because we punch the column. If the high beams are on the steering column itself, six eighty six ten fifty. Be on Westgate, just west of the trail, and light changes on a four door. I think it's a gray Mercury marquee, two occupants. 8429 on a silver 85 Ford Mercury out of Avon Park. Decaz Pfizer 5001. 26. 2004. The tag's coming back clear to that vehicle out of Avon Park, which is like central Florida. So stop them anyway and find out why their high beams are on. Like I said, it's a violation. Yeah, failure to dim. This is a miracle. Yeah, Hey, he ain't gonna stop just yet. Westbound on Westgate. Westbound on Westgate, Timmy. Turn, kill the siren for a sec. You behind us? I wanna see if they're gonna bail. Yeah, we're right behind you. Oh, obviously, they're not stopping. All right, we'll see what we got. See if we get them to bail or something. Well, maybe an second. unreported Somewhere. stolen car. Yeah, Six eighty-six. He's not stopping. I'm gonna see if he's gonna bail out. Otherwise, we're gonna have to break it off. Kill the siren. Go ahead. Kill everything. Kill the lights. That's 10 4 Palm Beach. Just show us 10 8. If you got anybody in the north end of Haverhill up by 45th, that's a four door Mercury. This guy's getting on it pretty good now, and he obviously uh, doesn't have control of the car. So we're probably going to back off and, and just uh, see what we can do when we catch up to him in traffic. Oh, hold on there a second. Let's watch him. Wait, wait, wait. Where's it? Where's it? 686 break. He just spun out. We're getting to the intersection here. Community. What is this? Cherry and Haverhill. Cherry and Haverhill. They're both out of the car. Right there. We got the driver. Come on the side, pat him down. You got anything on you we should know about? Oh, 686. Hold on. You got him? Hold Tell him. Well, bend one leg, bend one leg. Bend one leg and stand up. Stand for me. Dude, I ain't gonna pick you up. You too. Got this man. Go this side. All right, uh, get somebody back to my car. Signal zero. Yeah, get somebody back to my car. We're getting back to the car. That's community in the trail, right? That'd be co community in Haverhill? You just get somebody to our cars. Yeah. Dude, is that your car or what? Huh? You ain't gonna say nothing? I'll work with you, man. Just tell me what's going on, all right? 
Car, right? Take some deep breaths. Is that your car or? Yeah, no. Huh? Yeah. So why are you running like that? Yeah, habitual yeah, driver, man. Oh, you're habitual? Yeah. That's it, man? That's habitual and that was all, all that? Yeah. Because we broke it off, man. We weren't going to chase anymore. That was it. We ain't going to drive like that for something stupid. <laughs> we weren't chasing you no more. You could have totally, you could have drove normal, man. It was all up to you. You know what I'm saying? Let's be fair. Just bend over and spread your legs out for me. You got ID in the car or anything on you? It's in my pocket. In your pocket? Your wallet ain't here. Is it in the car? I don't know if it ain't in the car. Is it registered to you, the car? Uh-uh. Whose car is it registered to? Huh? The guy I purchased it from. All right. He knows you got it, though, right? You being yeah, straight I'm about probably. that? Yeah. All right. I got it. What's up? Have a seat, man. Oh, all right. Go search the car real quick. I am. See if there's a reason why we need to keep this perimeter going. The what? No, I'm, but I, I have my cell phone. Can I make a call and tell my girlfriend? Well, in a few. We tried to do a traffic stop on a vehicle. Car refused to stop. When it got past Oki, we uh, broke it off, let him go. Then when we see him come past community, he uh, tried to avoid traffic. Obviously lost control and hit here. Yeah, he didn't hit anything. Just bailed out in here. Thought that was suspicious enough, so we jumped out and we saw the driver get out of the vehicle. Got a foot pursuit on him. Uh, arrested him. He said he was a habitual suspended license. That's probably why he ran. But what's nice is. It's a black male, white male. The black male's wearing a yellow shirt. I mean, it's real easy identifiable as far as showing who the driver was compared to who the passenger was. And you have no one on and, uh, the passenger? Nothing on him? I mean, other than that white male, but there's no charges on him at all. But no, it worked out pretty good. Like I said, nobody got hurt. Bad guy goes to jail, and a uh, bad guy's car goes to impound lot. I used to be an insurance agent. One of my clients works for the sheriff's department. I had already submitted my app to the Florida State Troopers, and he came and told me that the sheriff's department was looking for people. I went ahead and applied, and uh, I got picked. The complete number on the Florida tag is going to be Alpha 71, Delta, number about a five. I'll take it here, though. Okay, we're being dispatched to a uh, 911 hangup. The uh, dispatcher is really unsure of what's going on. Seems like we got a call about a female being battered. Um, the call came from a different location, advising that she's at the location we're going to now. Um, and that the male that battered her uh, is possibly present with her. So um, we'll find out more when we get there. White male. 6 2, show me how to 2495. She is freaking out. Her husband's going to kill her. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. Come here. I don't even know where to start, buddy. All right, try I'm to make it, try to make it brief, as brief Briefly. as you can. I have a long-term friend that I'm a carpenter. Ran businesses together, carpenter. He got a bunch of money. He's had a wife for 10 years. 10 years. OK. Uh, make it short and sweet. Uh, he's got a real crack problem. OK. Amongst other things. OK. He sold the business. I finished his last house. He owes me a grand. OK. He's been beating his wife for at least a year or two. Okay. He's mentally really tormented her. The female's a friend of yours? I'm a friend of the family's. And then, um, they spend nights at my house. I had a beautiful home, and I go, we have dinners together, OK? But I can't take it anymore. Okay. He beat the out of her real bad this, this morning. OK. And uh, a mutual friend of theirs, I've disassociated myself. OK. I've lost a grand. I'm cutting loose. I don't even care. I didn't want to see the guy. The point is, is that this mutual friend of theirs, this Teresa, is a f***ing rockhead. She, she's down there playing with him, and, and he's forcing her to live with this woman. Okay. So she's calling you guys. That's what we called about the getaway. She's driving the truck. His truck is back over here. We got to find her. Okay. Teresa, I'll tell you the story in a minute. The most important thing is to find her. The most important thing is for her to see you and know she's safe. Okay. She's in the middle of a psychotic episode, and she thinks that he's going to kill her, and he probably will. Okay. And I want to make a police report because he'll probably try and kill me. Teresa! What? Get rid of her. She needs to talk to you. All right, sir. How you doing? All right. I disabled her truck so that she could talk to you instead of okay. going home and being beat to death. No problem. Where's Eli honey? at? Honey, I don't want to go through this. She, I know, honey, Where's but he's going to beat at, you ma'am? again, and he's going to kill you now. <laughs> Come here, baby. He's at come home. Here. Come I'm, here, come I'm, here. It's okay, Sherry. This is all I hope you got, baby. He's gonna kill you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He did not. No, he he trashed the house, but he did not hit her. Okay, where do you? What do you mean he didn't hit her? 
Do you see this bruise? Drop your pants. No, I'm not dropping my pants in front of men. Go with the, then he's gonna take, I insist you take her to a hospital and she'll be checked. Please. This it's is a the only situation people, to be in. The she okay. is not gonna help you. I know. There's two people who are gonna help you right now, honey. That's me and him. Okay. I'm supposed to be at work at 7.30. I have no business dealing with this. This guy will get your things and out of the Eli house. Eli knows. Eli is going to jail. I don't want him to go to jail. This guy is the, the only person okay. who can he help over, you. He's over there in Lake Worth he's, right now. He's a crackhead. He's probably out looking for some rocks right now. I don't, know, not, if he's he's a, I don't know if he's looking for rocks. I don't want Eli to go to jail. I want him to go to rehab. I want a Sherry, facility. You want to know what's best? Remember what we talked about, sweetheart? We need a Baker Act, him. What's that? That's where rehab? the people who, it's basically a forced rehab. Is that for drug rehab? Yes, it will be. Out. They will rehab him. I have an entire wardrobe of clean clothes. M maybe a T-shirt to wipe. I'm cold. Sherry? Me, that's dirty. I don't want dirty. Sherry, it's warm. <laughs> Sherry, if we Baker Act him, you can go, go home get a tonight. Clean one, please. If you Baker Act him, right, I'll stop by. You can go home tonight. I'm going to go get her sweatshirt. Okay. Get my sweatshirt. He disabled the truck because he didn't want me to go home. Yeah, well, was, Is that was, You think that was good? Yeah, he was worried. Right. He was afraid for me to go home. Yeah, I understand. I've been living with torment. It's mental abuse. I just I have a daughter. I have a granddaughter. I gotta be. I gotta be healthy. I can't. I can go home tomorrow. You could sleep in your own bed tonight no, for once said, without I, fear of being beaten. He no. said I have to go to the show. Tonight, what I think you should do is go to the show. Okay. Where is it though? Okay. Well, they'll come and pick you up. They'll they'll let me know. It, I'll give it's a call. It's not downtown, is it, West Palm? Give me that. Thing. I don't exactly know where oh, they take you. Could, can they take that? Is it possible to get closer to, to my home? Put, put that. I don't want to be downtown. I have my okay. dog there. Okay. She needs to be maintained. Uh, I think you. Uh, <laughs> your safety is more important than your dog. No, it's okay. Wherever you go, it's better than home. Yeah, but my dog kept my. Sanity when he flew out of the house. Your dog will be there. The dog's smart enough to stay there. Animal away from is therapy for you. <laughs> Put your shirt on. I know it sounds stupid, maybe to you, but no, it is. he's heard this a million times. He knows. I don't need that. Oh, Sherry, baby. <laughs> he looks terrible. He doesn't he's look the dead. same. He's very thin. He's looking to take people I understand. Away. Okay. I, I mean, he's sick. Six till you call. Okay. Go on your way over there. All right. I'll see you. I will find you tomorrow. It's all right. He's going to tell me where you are. Okay, go on your way over there. Okay. And like I said. Tomorrow. Can I get close tomorrow, you said? Am I allowed? Yeah, we'll be able to get close Will they tomorrow. give me something? I will they buy you and bring you no, clothes. No, just underwear. Okay. Deodorant. What I want to do is I want to give you the... I mean, I feel, uh, you know. Do you want to go to my house real quick and I'll give you some of my clothes? No. Sherry? I need underwear, you know? You can wear my it's underwear. It's like personal hygiene for women. You have to be clean, you know? That's fine, Sherry, but I can give you clean clothes. I think Well, two. they're going to give you a clean bag. All right, Sherry. Two showers a day. Here's the case number. Okay. Oh, wait, let me. You keep that with you. If you have any information, you need to okay. give me a call. Okay. okay. You can call 688-3000. Numbers down there. How do you spell your name? I can't Tap spell your T -A -P -A. I don't have my eyeglasses. That's okay. It's okay. With me. Reference the case number in case you need to give any information, okay? Okay. All righty. And I can call you for information. Yes, you can. Okay. 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 All right. The phone number. All right. You can't back down now. I know. Okay? I know. If you actually, if you're actually want to help Eli. Eli, you're, I mean, to, to why you should see the house. I'm sorry. Both know that's nothing. Honey. Window panes, my coffee table, my mother's picture. I'll fix your house. With glass mirrors on the walls all broken Those have been and shattered. broken for months. No, the other one. It's, he went crazy. He took chairs. He took the coffee table. Everything's just Let's okay. get Eli. Put her away. Let her, let her go. Let her go so she's all right. Go. And I will fix your house, baby. Thank you. All righty. Have a seat. Can I smoke? I can't smoke in there, can I? <laughs> well, just make sure we get Eli some help. Okay. All right. Remember, you got to do your part now, okay? All right. Do back down, Sherry. Bye, baby. Be good, Sherry. Can I give her a little kiss? The dealer's coming up from Miami. He's going to be bringing 2,500 hits of ecstasy. He's also going to be bringing six ounces of cocaine. Uh, he's on his way up here now, so as soon as we get done here, we're going to drive over and set up. When the guy gets here, he's going to call our undercover, let him know that he's here. Our undercover is going to come out with the uh, CI. He's going to come out and meet the dealer in the parking lot. They'll do the exchange there, and then we'll move and take down. The verbal, it's a go, is it's party time. The visual, which is going to be in conjunction with the verbal because it's going to be outside, is 
Joe's hat's gonna come off, okay? Well, let's go set up on the hospital. We need to get over there. Okay, what's going on is that we have an undercover inside the hospital with another guy. We're waiting on a dealer to come up from Miami who's gonna be bringing up 2,500 uh, ecstasy pills and six ounces of cocaine. Uh, we'll be doing the deal in the parking lot. Uh, the dealer thinks that uh, one of our undercovers is in the hospital, so we're going to wheel them out and do the deal in the parking lot once the uh, dealer gets here. They're not going to suspect nothing with this idiot in a gown and a wheelchair. <laughs> They should There's be here 14, real soon. The bad guys on the line. See, I was talking to the uh, target on the line. Should be here any minute. All right, we just uh, had a phone conversation with the, with the dealer, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll get a description of the vehicle that he's in so we know to look for him and direct him in here. And uh, once he gets here, hopefully he'll have the product. We'll show him the money, and that'll be it. One, one's a white one. They're both together. They parked uh, just on the east side. I'm sorry, the west side of uh, where Joey's car is. One guy's just putting the hood up right now. He just pulled something out of the hood. It's probably them. Kind of fat with a gray T-shirt. Short, short haircut, buzz type. He's looking around the parking lot. All right, well, if that's the case, KC and Tally, you guys take the cars, and we'll take the guy on the guy that comes towards Joey. Damn. You had a tough time finding it? Yeah, man. What's up, man? Yeah. You look a little, a little straight. But you're still hustling. <laughs> What's up, man? Joe, bro. Right here in this hallway? There's people up there, bro. There's people up there. That hallway is... Walk right here. All right, let's go right here. Damn, though, you do like a... Are you a cop? Bro, man. What's up with that? You know that's entrapment, though. I hear you, bro. Bro, you want to go count the money, man? Hurry up, dog. Hurry up so that we can, uh, we can go to the strip joint, dog. Come on, bro. Go here. Just hold everything. Everything's there. You want to count the money? No, no. Um, I, I trust you. Anything short, I just call you and let you know. Well, um, well it's not let short. Let me do a calculator, so that. Let me do a count. It's a party time or what, bro? Uh, hey, I got you. Got more. Yeah, yeah. He's scaring me, dog. He's scaring me, dog. Why, bro? He's scaring me, man. How much? Bad guys getting hanky, guys. What's the suspicion on the cars again, Daniel? You guys take the car. We'll take this guy. I'll do that. Break. Car, They're coming over this way. He's gonna run. He's running. He's running. Yeah, come on, come on. He's running. Hurry up, hurry up. He's running. Get down! Marcos, check that corner. He's somewhere. Check that corner. Get out, get out. Don't you move, put your hands behind your back. He's over here, he's over here. Right here. Don't move. Don't move. Yeah. We got the guy that actually brought the dope over, which is this guy. This is the guy that ran. Yeah. This is the guy that we've been chasing. This is what, the, here, let me do it since I got the gloves on. This is what we got here. Let's see if he, okay, this is, these should be our ounces, but looks like maybe four. We might've been shorted on that. 
These should be all our pills wrapped in the uh, in the fabric softener sheets again to conceal smell. That's pretty funny. These are a bunch of. They should be ecstasy, but we're gonna have to test them all, make sure it is what it is. Yeah. Okay. See these. These are, see these are definitely ecstasy. See the Mitsubishi logo. Can you see it? Yep. The three diamonds. They're called Mitsubishis on the street. These are the ones that supposedly kill you. There's an advisory out on those that say that they're fatal. Yeah, here's a whole bunch of the same kind. So that's a good pop. If this turns out to be 2,500 ecstasy, that's about a $50,000 street value. So that's a good, that's a good bust.